Williams crew chief told me earlier this week, I feel like this is the type of track where we'll have an advantage. We need to show up with speed. They have done that. They qualified second. We'll see if Chastain can show that speed throughout the race as the cars now coming down pit road, Rick. Yeah, Marty and NASCAR told them that they can cover them up. It looks like there is just a really small cell that is about to get us. They're going to keep the drivers in the cars, but uh, they are allowed to cover them up. So the crews are going to be running out here with covers in just a second. And listen, we, we have to just remind everybody, uh, two miles, 200 miles an hour. You know, we've seen some rain affect racing at Daytona. We've seen an issue at New Hampshire. This is something, Jeff, I know you and I have had a lot of conversations about this, that, you know, NASCAR is trying their best to make sure they're asking these drivers to go 200 miles an hour into turn one. They want to make sure the track is ready. This is not a type of track you could kind of roll down in with sprinkles on the windshield. Yeah, I mean, you know, they don't have much choice, and I know it's under caution, but if you look at the radar, it looks like it might, you know, might drop just a little bit more than it could go away. So, you know, they're just being proactive. It's something we saw since Daytona last year where they drove into turn one, this shower started, huge wreck, and since that point, NASCAR has looked at things differently and tried to get ahead of the weather, kind of res re responded to it rather than reacting when it gets there. So they've got a feeling that there's weather imminent here for a few minutes. They're going to keep the drivers in the cars. That's confident. That shows you the confidence they can get going.